Trump and Biden blew it all up. And if Kamala wins the election, the worst is yet to come. You'll have a real problem in the future because people don't respect her in the world. People don't respect her in the economy. Economists are laughing. They can't even believe this is happening to our country. And she wants to change a free enterprise Which uh, type of country into a communist type country. That's what she knows. She's considered far more radical than Bernie Sanders. That's all you have to know. Far more. Again, Again communists. communists. Uh, she's, she's not, not a communist. communist. Even, Even Bernie Sanders, Sanders isn't a communist. communist. And Bernie Sanders, I think, is more to the left than Kamala Harris. But Bernie Sanders isn't a communist. He isn't a socialist. I would say he is something like center left, maybe something around the scale of, of in, in the area of social democrats, something like that maybe, which isn't socialism, it's social democracy, it isn't socialism, it isn't communism. So, oh my god, that is, that is terrible. More radical. And she picked somebody that's far more radical than Bernie Sanders. He approved a bill recently, tampons in boys' bathrooms. He wants tampons in boys' bathrooms. It's terrible. It's terrible. Tampons but that's the person that she bathrooms. picked. Surprising pick to me. I was shocked. He's also got one of the worst. Somehow I feel like uh, he's being a bit transphobic here. I have that idea, you know, that, that he's probably hinting at that just you know what transphobic people do they just mislabel people and and yeah so and uh, what they've done to that great state with the beautiful weather like this weather they have this weather all the time and they have the ocean they have the sun they have everything good but what they've done to it is uh, is a shame and she's going to do the they same thing to our country the weather, the policies. The sun and the they had a recent uh, ocean article what? and i didn't know this but you're allowed to rob a store as long as it's not more than $950. Has everyone ever heard of that? You can rob a store and you have these thieves going into stores with calculators calculating how much it is. Because if it's less than $950, they can rob it and not get charged. That was her that did that. Harris is campaigning on the law. Wait, so why people are not robbing the stores then? Again, he makes no sense. Uh, if that would be true, then, I mean, just go to the store and rob it. What is he talking about here? Our tax rate is, quote, a bold idea that should be discussed and studied. 70 to 80 private health insurance, which 150 Americans rely on, dumping everyone onto inferior socialism. Wait, 150, 150 Americans? Wait, what? legislation to abolish very popular private health insurance which 150 yeah. americans rely on dumping everyone yeah 150 americans that's that's, that's not a huge number <laughs> one onto inferior socialist government-run health care systems with rationing and deadly wait times well massively raising your taxes she wants to take away your private health care there are many people in this country who spend a lot of money on private health care. It's the best health care in the world, by the way. But they want to do it. They worked hard to make... No, it's not the best health care in the world because it's private health care. That means it's only good for, for those who can pay for it. And it's actually very sad because it's one of the very few or maybe the only one country in the world, at least first world country, where you must pay for health care. Uh, usually in other countries, it's just, you know, you pay taxes and... Yeah, taxpayers pay for the health care. So, no, it's not the best health care system. It's the worst health care system because health care shouldn't discriminate anybody. It doesn't matter if you're homeless or if you're jobless or if you're disabled or a senior or you make uh, 20,000 a year, you make 200,000 a year. It shouldn't matter. The quality of health care should be equal for all the people. So no, it's not the best 
and it must change, but we all know it will not change because for some reason Americans are so against universal healthcare. I don't know why. I guess they they've been brainwashed by people like Trump or something like that, which is terrible actually. It's one of the worst things in USA, private healthcare, where you must pay for literally everything make money and they want to do it under her you're not going to have private health care plans anymore and you can be a wealthy person or a middle income person and you want to spend on a really good plan better than a government plan could be far better and you're not going to be allowed you're all going to be thrown into a communist system it's a communist system you're going to be thrown into a system no, no it's, it's not, not a communist system, system. it's a sane system, system. and here's, here's why the system, system works because if everybody is getting same kind of healthcare, that means rich people get same quality, poor people get same quality, which means, like, for example, Trump would go into the same hospital and be treated by the same people who treat uh, regular people, low income people and so on, which fixes the issue or the fear of uh, healthcare becoming, uh, becoming crap because everyone relies on it, including rich people. And if something bad happens, those rich people, they're going to sue, they, uh, they're going to go to courts. And it just, it's, it solves all the problems itself, that system. Where everybody gets health care, you wait for your doctor like 10 months, 12 months, 11 months, you got to see some of these plans how they work in other countries, it's disgraceful. So private health care is gone, she wants it out. Yes, you may wait for a long time, but only if it's not urgent. If it's something urgent, you will not wait. Like I had appendicitis and I went into ER at around 2 a.m. maybe, and it was during COVID outbreak, by the way. So I was tested for COVID, I waited for the results, and the surgery was done at 7 a.m. So if that's a long wait, and that was actually a long wait because of COVID, and it actually would be shorter. So if you really need medical help now, it will be provided to you as fast as possible. And if you just want to, you know, register to a doctor for non-life threatening or dangerous uh, condition or or something like that yeah just make an appointment many months in advance and then go on a checkup or something like that but urgent care or like uh, illnesses like cancer uh, there is no wait it's done as quickly as possible because it must be done quickly so again He's either misinformed or he's lying or or he's just, uh, wait, he called Kamala Harris low IQ person, right, somewhere, or he's just very low IQ or something. President Trump had some great ideas, but one of the ideas was no tax on tips. I think it would have been nice and people would have accepted that, but she just came out like it was hers and she never had her. In fact, just the opposite. Uh, the IRS is all set up to really go after people that make tips. And they passed legislation and signed executive orders, making it really hard on waiters, waitresses. And that was very recently. That was just before I made... No, no tax on tips. tips. That's, that's, that's good, good. yeah. I can, I can agree with that. that. That's, that's good. good. I mean, why there, there would be tax on tips, tips if it's a tip? That's, that's the point of the tip, right? But, but I would like, like to see what Kamala Harris can reply to that because I'm only hearing one side right now and I'm not hearing her yet. So I have no clue if he's telling the truth or, or just you no know, lying as usual. But I'm pretty sure that Kamala Harris can reply regarding this tip incident and yeah, but I completely agree that tips, they shouldn't be taxed. That is wrong.